welcome you all to the course of machine learning and deep learning fundamentals and application i am a ta of your course in today in this session we will uh, solve some questions on the basis of k means hsc uh, ann and cnn so let begin the class for the first problem we have to perform k min clustering on a data set this is a value given x equal 31 43 30 58 62 34 92 65 33 90 and with k equal to 3 so k min is a unsupervised algorithm where we calculate the distances to assign a point to a cluster so first we have to calculate the cluster center for iteration 0 so So, as values are given like 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, mu 1 is here 48.5 and mu 2 is 51.33, then mu 3 is 63.33. Then for the iteration 1, we have to find the nearest mean. So, for 31, the nearest mean is mu 1. So, it will be 1. Then 43, it will be 1. Then this is like this. And then this 3. So, for this, the mu 1 is 34.2 and mu2 is 51.33 and mu3 is 73.4 like this for two same process iteration 3 for iteration 4 the values are like You can see that the from iteration 3 to iteration 4, the values are same, means there is no changes. So, it is already assigned to the cluster center. So, the final level is, this is the final level and these are the cluster center. So, here you have to find the set of final data level for the initial level. So, in the iteration 3, the values are like tri triple 1, double 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3. These are the final data level. And for the second part, find the final cluster center for the table till convergence. So, these are the final, final cluster center. This is 34.2, 61.67 and 91. So, for the second question, now let us move to the second question. So, here we have to perform single linkage hierarchical agglomerative clustering on the set of points. So, 
in the HSC starts by treating each data point as a separate cluster and then iteratively combines the closest cluster until a stopping criterion is reached. So, here it is given as single linkage. So, a single linkage means it has to find minimum distance. So, first step, step 1 is initialize clusters. These are the clusters. Now, in step two, we have to calculate. the pairwise distance for that move to calculate the distance. So, distance can be like Manhattan or equilateral distance. same as this came in. So, this is 0, 7, 10, 12, 4, 15, 5, 7, 0, 3, 7, This is the pairwise distances. After that, the step 3 is merging. This is the final step. So, we have to merge the clusters. So, this is the initial clusters. from the pairwise distances we have to merging the clusters.
then all values are merged. This is the concept of HAC, hierarchical agglomerative clustering. So, the dendrogram is This is the final dendrogram. Now, let us move to the next question. Here, we have some input values that is x, y and z and the intermediate value is q and the final value is f. So, first let us solve this question and we have to find the gradient of f with respect to x, y and z. So, f is equal to x plus y into z. So, f is equal to x z plus y z. When you differentiate with respect to x, d f of d x that will be z. The value of z is here minus 4 and when you differentiate with respect to y, d f by d y it is equal to z. So, it will be minus 4 and the final is d f by d z. So, this value will be x plus y it is equal to 3. So, this is the values of gradient of f with respect to x, y and z it will be minus 4, minus 4 and 3. So, let us move to the next question. Here a artificial neural network is given. So, ANN is a computational model that mimics the way nerve cells work in the human brain. Here a network is created with multiple neurons stacked together and for these neurons the activation function is given as f is equal to 0 for x less than 0 and f is equal to 1 for x greater than equal to 0 when we have to find the logical function which will, will be defined by this neural network. So, for this question let us take some values x 1, x 2 and the final value will be like let us see o. So, when we give 0 0 and 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1. So, what will we, fi we find from this output? So, for 0 0 a 1 equal to 0 0.5 and when you pass this through the activation function that the, then the output will be 1 and a 2 will be minus 1.5 and for passing for the activation it will be give us 0 and a, a 3 will be 1 minus 0 0.5. So, the value will be 0 0.5. So, this is equal to 1. When, so, 0 0 will be give us 1 and for the second case let us take as 0 and 1 in this case the a 1 will be minus 0 0.5 which will be passed to the activation then it will give us 0. A 2 will be minus 0 0.5 so 0. A 3 will be minus 0 0.5 so it will give us 0. So, when we pass x 1 x 2 give us 0 and 1 then output will be 0. 
same goes for the third and fourth case. So, for 1 0 we will find as 0 and for 1 1 we will find as 1, you can solve this. So, this belongs to which gate? This belongs to x nor gate. The logical function will be x nor gate. So, let us move to the next question. An input image has been converted into a matrix of size 28 cross 28 and a kernel or filter of size 7 cross 7 with a stride of 1. So, what will be the size of the convolutional matrix? So, as we already know the CNN can extract features from images and it can learn to recognize patterns. So, here the size of the matrix is given as 28 cross 28. The formula is like n minus k by s plus 1. So, here s stands for stride and stand for dimension of input or previous layer. And K stand for kernel size. So, here N is equal to 28 minus kernel size is 7 by stride equal to 1 plus 1 value should be 22. The size of the convolution matrix is 22 cross 22. So, let us move to the next question. Here an input feature map of dimension 74 cross 74 cross 32 is passed through a 2D convolutional layer and a total of 64 filters of kernel size 3 cross 3 yields a feature map of dimension 72 cross 72 cross 64. So, we have to determine the number of parameters for that the here number of filters are sixty four kernel size is equal to three comma three input channel thirty two number of convolutional parameters equal to number of filters into kernel size into input channel. and number of bias parameter equal to number of filters. So, the total parameters equal to 64 cross 3 cross 3 cross 32 plus the number of bias parameters number of filter equal to 64. So, the final value would be 18496. So, this is the final number of parameters. So, in this session we have solved some problems regarding k means hsc ann and cnn i hope you understood the problems and if you still have any doubts you can contact us in discuss forum so let's conclude the session thank you